Um, I did enter in the 07 one, um, and I didn't know, like I thought I was, that, yeah, I was no chance at all. Um, but after talking to Hamish, it was between myself and Aaron Kite for the last pick, and I was probably lucky I didn't get picked up. I don't think I was probably mentally ready for it. I never, I might have got homesick if I'd have come over that early. I was probably only, I was still only 17 then. I woke up for, I knew I wasn't going to go high at all, so I thought oh, I'll just wake up whenever. The draft was on. My dad was tuned in very early, and he woke me up, and I think it was about number. Yeah, number five or six, I started listening to it and um, yeah, had to wait a while. But eventually got read out and yeah, it was, it was a good day. Selection 44, Adelaide. 708, 210, Rory Sloan, Eastern Rangers. I actually came back from Queensland. I was up in, I was doing my little schoolies trip um, in Queensland and got back home at two o'clock in the morning, woke up at 11 o'clock and my name had been read out to come to Adelaide. Mum was a bit upset. Mum was very emotional that I was going to Adelaide. And we're a big St Kilda family supporter, so um, Dad was very annoyed because I think the 97 grand final still burnt him or scarred him a little bit. Yeah, we've won him over now. He'd like to see a grand final, though. Every team he's barracked for, it's been, hasn't been many grand finals. So I think once we, uh, once we win a grand final, he'll, uh, he'll be Adelaide for life. Big kick, he can go one out to Yaron. That's a good kick. Great kick, but good closing speed. And the Vicks, very well done. But I was probably always going to be in that, in that middle section of the draft. Um, and Adelaide probably had the, the first pick there. And I'm not sure, Hamish, yeah, Hamish really liked me. And um, it was good to have, I don't know, it was good to end up at a club where I suppose you had, um, uh, where, where the recruiters really believed in you. And, um, gave me a lot of confidence coming in here to after Hamish had spoken to me that I could really have a good crack at it and yeah, give it a good shot. Yeah, I'd spoken to uh, maybe 14, no, or probably 12 or 12 clubs, I think. Um, St Kilda wasn't one of them, which I was shattered about. I was like, come on, this is, I just want to speak to one club. Um, but yeah, I knew I would, yeah, I knew I wasn't rated too highly. I knew Adelaide did love me. I knew Hamish really, really loved me and Hamish was awesome for me throughout the whole um, under 18s Vic Metro. Um, he helped me out in tough stages there that I had and um, I knew if I didn't, if I wasn't picked up by another team by a certain stage that Adelaide would, would take me. I was always pretty confident that I'd end up at Adelaide and um, yeah, Hamish was, Hamish was pumped and I don't know, it was a bit weird. I always thought, oh, Adelaide, how am I going to go there? And I'd never been here before. Um, but now I love it and it's such a great place, to, uh, easy place to live, Adelaide. Went out celebrating that night again. Um, had a good night. The next day, I got flown over. And that was a Sunday, I got flown over, got showed around a little bit. Monday, we were straight into training. We were on the bike with Charlie. Um, we had a few fitness tests we had to do. And I don't know, I got through it really well. I, I felt good, I don't know how. I just had a couple of big weeks, but um, I got through it well. I think it was just probably the excitement of being, um, being at the AFL club. And that whole pre-season, I remember that whole pre-season was just, it just goes so quickly. And it's, it was probably the easiest pre-season because I think you're just trying to impress everyone the whole time and you're not worried about how hard the drills are gonna be or how much running you gotta do. And, now it's all I can't stop thinking about is how much running we're going to have to do again. Yeah, well, Mitch Grigg, I reckon, was pretty high, 50-something as well. Um, I think there's so many stories of, um, of people throughout the competition that, that go really late in drafts, and I reckon James Hurd was one of them. He, he's one of, been one of the best players um, to play. So there's, there's a whole range of guys that, that come through late and might develop a bit later than others, but I think um, it doesn't really matter what number you go once you're in the system. Um, if you work hard, um, train hard and want to get better, you'll normally succeed.